how to share WooCommerce products on Facebook page automatically. So whenever you add a new product in your WooCommerce store, the same product can be shared automatically on your Facebook page as well along with all details like the product name, the product price, the product description and the product image as well. So if you also want to start sharing your WooCommerce products directly on Facebook that too automatically and instantly then come with me and I will show you everything step by step. So this is my WooCommerce dashboard and here I will add a new product in front of you and you will see the same product will be shared automatically in one of my Facebook page. Okay, so here you can notice lot of pages are available in my Facebook account. So I have already opened that page in which I am actually planning to share all my WooCommerce products. Okay, so in order to automate this whole process, firstly, I will have to build a connection in WooCommerce and Facebook application which I am going to do with the help of Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation software. I am an existing user of Pabli Connect so I am already logged in. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just 2 minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. Okay, so I have directly pasted the name as share WooCommerce products on Facebook page automatically. Now I will select the folder that is main workflows because I want to create my workflows in this folder only. Now clicking on create and after that you will find two boxes. So these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this. So whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application. Application. Okay, so this is how you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and action window in which you are building an automation. Okay, so according to our use case, we want that whenever you add, whenever a new product is added in our WooCommerce store, the same product should be shared automatically on Facebook page as well. Okay, so that is why I am selecting both the application in this trigger and the action window. Okay, and now the idea here is firstly, I will connect to WooCommerce with Pabli Connect and then I will connect to Pabli Connect with the Facebook and then this way I am going to automate this whole process okay so let us first connect to WooCommerce with the Pabli Connect okay so firstly I will select the trigger event that whenever a product is added okay so you can also read the instructions when a new product is created this automation should trigger or we can say the data of that product should be captured via Pabli Connect. All right, here you can notice it has provided me a webhook URL with the help of which I am going to build this connection and the instructions for the same are already given here. So kindly follow these instructions carefully. Okay, so simply copy this webhook URL then go back to the settings section of your WooCommerce and after that you will have to click on the advanced section as per the instruction. Then we will click on the webhook option okay so here we are into the advanced section basically I have clicked on advanced section and now finally I will select the webhook option and here you will notice lot of webhooks are already created but I am going to create a new webhook by clicking on this button okay so firstly I will paste this particular webhook URL in the delivery URL field here you can find this delivery URL field okay give me a second let me paste the same asking for the name okay so connect Pabli connect and WooCommerce okay I'm providing this particular name in the status of course it will change as active in the topic well I'm going to select the same that is product created okay now finally I'll click on the save webhook button and in this way the webhook will be saved here will be updated here successfully which means the connection in between WooCommerce and Pabli Connect is successfully done okay coming back to the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here you can notice a response is received along with the webhook ID that means it is saying the webhook is added successfully now I'll click on this recapture webhook response button once again in order to test this integration but before that firstly read the instructions and here also you can notice that it has already started waiting for the webhook response so it is saying now log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do a test submission record so that data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record 
and here the test submission means creation of a new product in woocommerce application okay so i'm going to do the same this is the product section of my woocommerce all right give me a second this is the product section of woocommerce and in front of you i will add a random product a new product and you will see the details of that product will be captured via pabli connect again for which it is already waiting okay so asking for the product name well i am going to add the product something like redmi note 9 pro max assume that it is a smartphone and here i am not going to provide the details and all the fees basically i will provide only the basic details okay so assume that the regular price of this particular phone is 21999 and the sale price is 17999 and further you can fill all the other information i am just going to upload the product image directly from my image library and i think i have already provided the title of my product how about i also provide a short description something like a smartphone with dual sim port all right uh, this is enough i think uh, now finally i'll click on this publish button and as soon as this product is live in my woocommerce store you will notice that the details of that product will be captured via pabli connect okay so all right waiting for the response to be received fingers crossed and here you can notice the response is received and now i'll show you the details one by one all right so here we have the stock status as in publish here we have the slug of that product here we also have the short description and it is the same short description but it has got captured along with some html tags also don't worry i'll show you how you can remove such type of tags here we have the sales price also okay and where is the name of that product all right so this is the permalink of the product okay so if i will open this link basically you can you will be redirected to the same product product page link okay so here you can notice this is the image of the product this is the title and this is the price okay so in this way you can also access the product image link basically the product link and this is the product name okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between woocommerce and pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time a new product is created in the woocommerce store the details of that product will be captured via pabli connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done now moving further i am going to send the product details on my facebook page so the application is already selected now i'll select the action event that is create page photo post now why i am selecting this instead of the this because i also want to share the image of my product okay clicking on connect then i'll click on add new connection and for the connection it will ask you the access of your facebook account but because i am already logged in in my facebook account into a new tab so instead of asking me for the access it is asking me for the permission which i have already provided so the authorization is successful and in this way the facebook pages are immediately connected with the pabli connect okay so because as we are connected here you can notice whatever the pages are available inside my facebook account have started visible here and i want to share all my product related details on this specific page so that is why i have selected the same now it is asking for the photo url and the description okay so now you tell me from where i am going to provide the details remember we have already captured the details as a response of our trigger step and the interesting thing here is i am not going to manually copy this data and paste below again and again okay i am going to map the above data okay and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the above step data here in the drop down so let me search for the photo url okay so i have added it successfully but you must be thinking what is the significance of mapping so whatever the details i will map here these details will be replaced automatically and whatever the details i am providing here manually or either from a drop down will remain same okay so this is the difference and here in the description i am going to share all the product to related details okay so basically i want to share this specific message something like new product is live on our e-commerce store and further i will share the name of
of the product the price the product link and image okay so i will be directly copying this text and pasting below here and first of all i am going to correct the formatting of this message okay and here in place of this name in place of typing this name i am going to map the name because i want that these details should be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time in next time okay so i have added all the details now i will map the details okay so again uh, i am going to map the details from the drop down only so the name of the product was redmi 9 note 9 pro max the price of the product was well i am going to share the sales price only uh, the product image well i have already shown you let me search for the same that is the product image and uh, i'm really sorry here instead of product image i will have to map the product link okay so i will search the perma link okay and lastly i will add the product image which i can search via images okay so again whatever the details i have provided manually will remain same and these details will be changed automatically as soon as a new product is added in our woocommerce store now i will click on this button but before that let me open my facebook page okay so this is the same page and here we have the most recent post as this okay this is the image of earth all right coming back clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response to receive because if that response is positive that means our automation is working absolutely fine and the same product has been shared on the facebook page okay so here you can notice the response is received going back to my facebook page first of all i am going to refresh my page and will check whether the same product has been shared on my facebook page or not automatically and here you can notice it is the same content and the same image and here we also have the product link as well as the product image okay so let me read this new product is live on our e-commerce store the name of the product the final price the product link the image and grab the deal okay here you can notice this is the perma link and this is the image link okay so in this way with the help of pabli connect you can start sharing your woocommerce products doesn't matter from which field you belongs to you can start sharing your products on your facebook page automatically without doing anything manually okay and yes you just need to set this automation inside pabli connect once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end and just in case if you want to access this two step workflow inside your pabli connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box okay so simply click on this link and then sign up for free into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pabli connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video